Oh, sorry. Andy, I've got... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. His <laughs> head fell off. Andy, I've got to say, your um, obsession <laughs> is starting to become concerning for this office. This is an intervention, and I've written a letter. It's, it's three days without a laptop, dude. Andy, when you touch the Jim Groom mask, it makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Timmy, get it all out. All right. Ugh. Welcome to DTLT Today. Welcome. I'm Andy Rush. And I'm Tim Owens. And you know what I've heard actually is that there's this big conspiracy. So Jim told us he was going up to New York and he's actually been posting videos as if he's at Occupy Wall Street right. and doing something like that. Yeah, I've seen some of these. he's got some sort of speeching engage, speaking engagement. Right. I've seen some of these so-called videos that, that he's supposedly posted on the yeah. web. But we found a video today. And we think we figured it out. Yeah, it's damning evidence, too. It is. He got himself a nice suit, Yep. fresh shave, haircut. Yep, standing in front of a, a white brick wall somewhere. We, we should play the video. Go we ahead. Should, here's, we found out what Jim Grimm's really been up to, so here he is. On learning, not on technology. This all adds up to open class being truly amazing. And the most amazing part is the impact it will have on students, on learning, and on the world. Join Open Class today and help us bring down the walls in education. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi, we had some technical difficulties uh, just not starting the video from the beginning. Um, so you got a little bit of a taste there of, of Jim Groom. Uh, let's start this video again. The LMS, as you know it, dead. Look, it's only ever been an ineffective administrative tool. It's closed, it's clunky to use, it's costly. Well, the walls impeding modern digital education, they're now coming down. Meet Open Class, a new kind of learning environment. One that's open, scalable, and free to everyone. Breaking down barriers and transforming the learning experience. Open Class goes beyond the LMS. It's a dynamic, fully cloud-based solution that makes smart use of technology to revolutionize education. It's got all the LMS functionality needed to manage courses, but it actually advances education by stimulating social learning and the exchange of content, coursework, and ideas. All of that from one integrated platform. And we've been working with Google to ensure that Open Class's features integrate seamlessly with their Google Apps for Education. Open Class is ushering in a whole new era of learning, and that's completely open and ridiculously easy. And did we mention? It's totally free. When we say open, we mean free-flowing communication and collaboration. Not just across classrooms and campuses, but around the globe. When we say easy, we mean it's intuitive. Intuitive to set up, to integrate, and start using immediately. It puts the focus on learning, not on technology. This all adds up to open class being truly amazing. And the most amazing part is the impact it will have on students, on learning, and on the world. Join Open Class today and help us bring down the walls in education. You know, there's one thing I noticed at the bottom of that. And it was just right along the bottom, and you may not have noticed it, Andy. Mm -hmm. uh, but Open Class is actually not some sort of separate product. Right. It's Pearson. <gasps> I've heard of them. How about that? I hear they're into the education market. The uh, the publishers, yeah. <laughs> so Pearson announced this today <clears throat> that they are getting into the LMS market by LMS dead. <laughs> yeah. Dead. <laughs> Which sounds exactly like what Jim Groom would say, so it's very clear what's been going on there. He's sold out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but 
luckily we still have the spirit of Jim Groom here, so yeah. we'll be able to speak through him since he's gone on to somewhere else. The Wicked Witch of Dr. Oblivion. Exactly. So, well, we've had a lot of fun with this announcement, and uh, George Siemens also had a, a post. He did. Um, relating to this and talking about education and, and making platforms out of them and, and so forth. And uh, um, needless to say, I think I can speak for Jim, speak for Martha, speak for all of us and say that we're a little bit skeptical a little bit um, of this whole idea. Um, sure, it's good that they partnered with with Google um, in in a sense, um, but I mean a lot of the a lot of the talking points that they kind of hit on and the little little pop ups that appear next to his next to his head um, are you know are the kind of stuff that just kind of contradict themselves right away. Yeah. You know, um, just the, this whole idea of of free, you know we've we've got open. this free, open, easy thing yeah. that's that's unlike any other LMS that you've ever used, yeah. but it's it's an LMS, and, yeah. and, and here, go use it. And we're get, we're doing this out of the goodness of our heart, and there's I've no strings. Say, like, you know, they should have said no strings attached, and, and that would have sealed the deal. I am so sick of the word open. Like, right. can we just, like, throw it out right now and just be done with it? Like, this idea of, <clears> oh, it's open, so don't question what we're doing. It's clearly a loss leader for this publisher to sell content. And sure. they say as much in the Inside Higher Ed article, and even on um, the Chronicle article, they say, well, yeah, this is this is their business. Pearson is in the content business and they feel they're taking a different strategy to it in saying that the LMS itself as a product is not viable, mm -hmm. which to be fair, it's not. Sure. You know, it's, it is just something in which to deliver content and since they're the ones selling the content, they feel like they can sell it through this medium. But then don't offer it up for free Right. And this is the same problem that I have with Android, mm -hmm. is that Google puts this out here and says we have this open, open, you know, mobile application and OS environment completely free. Just please use our stuff. That'd be great. And all of a sudden, and as if they didn't have something to profit from it and something to gain from it. Sure. I mean, you you look at this and you and you are waiting for the other shoe to drop sure. to to try to say, okay, so how are they going to insinuate themselves? into the education process, you know, and, and obviously um, who knows how much longer textbooks will be around. Yeah. So obviously they need to go into some different directions and, yeah. and this is just their way of saying, um, you know, whatever we can get out of this LMS pie, mm -hmm. um, let's let's take it on and, and see what direction it goes in. And, and uh, Well, and the question that always comes up with these is, okay, so it's an LMS, does that mean I get to look at it? If you're open, do I get sure. to look at it from the outside? Because there's this thing called the internet where, you know, Normally, if you publish content, I should be able to see that content, right? Well, and there's that con you know that contradictory statement as as we're watching this and thinking about an LMS and saying it's it's free, it's open. Mm -hmm. um, you know, well, is it open like the web? Is it is it available so that you can see this stuff? Can you share this stuff easily? Right. Um, and and so it it, it brings the to to the fore the question. You know, why does there then need to be an LMS? Yeah. Um, why can't you just kind of say here's some open tools? that you might want to use mm -hmm. um, but this is you know this is obviously a, a drive for their piece of the pie Siemens makes a good point with that so we're we're always talking about the tools and he talks about platforms and that yeah. for educators they want to just have some sort of easy platform to use instead of all of these various tools you've mm -hmm. got the you've got the tech savvy folks like us and the DIY educators that will put up with having to use Google over here and having to use WordPress over here and all these different separate things but most educators want some central place that's also easy to use sure. as a concept and he said you know I wouldn't be surprised if at some point similar to you go to facebook.com to access and use Facebook mm -hmm. that you go to pearson.com and that is the LMS that that is your environment in which students go to do things as opposed to you know logging into this separate system but then having to go to WordPress to do this or go here to sure. do that well and he also mentioned that you know Facebook is popular be because of that platform mm -hmm. uh, scenario um, it, it, it isn't necessarily any anything that's any good sure um, you know and if Pearson's gonna just simply do the same thing we'll just have another product that's out there that's that's not gonna be any good right. and and certainly not any good for education and that's the other you know that's the other language that I have uh, that I have a problem with is it's it's this whole idea that this new open class thing is gonna change education again yeah. you know just like just like any other product that's out there is, is gonna change education you know yeah. I, I 
and you know changing education is a big business and yeah <laughs> there's money to be made in changing education I know, I know. And when, you, when you when you when you mention the word change yeah. it's, it 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 means good things always right yeah. so, um I, and you know we've 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 had the discussions and the arguments about you know whether ipads you know where where they fit and that's i mean that's really more what the question is is where this stuff fits into education not that yeah. it changes it um and i of course, we're skeptical about about how this is going to make any yeah. difference, uh, and and um, you, you just you go you you leave with these announcements just kind of scratching your head well, and thinking you know really what good is this and and what is the the you know the devious you know thought behind the behind the curtain. Well, I mean, if we had sort of the seven levels of hell of monetizing education, <laughs> yeah. clearly this would not be at the lowest level or even maybe the highest, you know. You've got things like Moodle that took a similar concept. It's a free piece of software, yet yeah, free in that mm -hmm. you can install it and use it if you want, but in terms of getting support and having updates and things like that, you've either got to do it yourself or you're going to pay a company to host it and do it. And right. that seems to be what's interesting about this announcement. It's not just going after Blackboard and playing in that space. It's going after Moodle. So the people sure. who are going to be implementing this, it's a Google Apps product. So people who are already tied into Google Apps for Education mm -hmm. are going to want to look at this. And it's a one-click process. And yeah, integrate this into our system. And there you go. Whereas with Moodle, you have to think about those extra costs for hosting, right. for maintenance, and all that other stuff. And they're saying, we'll support it. We'll update it for you. We'll maintain it. And you don't have to think twice about it. So if this is, you know, whereas with Blackboard, it really is awful. This is maybe <laughs> less awful in that right. stance that it's... Right. It's a system that you could use as a means to the end. I, you know, as of yet, we haven't gotten rid of the LMS completely, even though clearly he says it's dead. But <laughs> you know, if someone had to pit me one against the other and we had to choose here, as opposed to someone going all completely DIY and just building it on their own hosting with WordPress and doing all of it themselves, I, this would be a better model, I think. But yeah, well, I, I mean, none of this is is any more compelling than. Than something like WordPress, um, yeah. where you could do a lot of this stuff on your own and integrate Google Docs or whatever sure. Google um, pieces and components or, or anything else. You know, right. why why just Google? You know, are there aren't there other um, good technologies out there that they should that sh they should mention? Um, you know, why not Flickr? So uh, it's it's just this this whole corporate partnerization stuff. You know, we're your friends. We're here to offer you something for free. That just always leaves a bad taste in our mouths, and and well, and I think um, they're going to have some issues here because you know they're a publisher of content, but the thing about an LMS is you want to be able to have content from all different areas get pulled into there. Yeah. So, are you going to allow open educational resources in here? I hope to God you are. Yeah. You know, uh, are you going is. Houghton Mifflin and other publishers going to allow their content to come into open class? That's a little bit more questionable because why would you give your enemy the upper hand there? Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I so you know, there's deals that are going to be had to have had to be had in that realm as well, where they're going to have to make deals with other publishers to say, "Come on, you know, we'll allow you to put your stuff in here. Please, you know, do it for the do it for the web, do it for open, you know." <laughs> right. And, and meanwhile, they're saying. Yeah, your LMS is free, but you're selling your content, so I'm not going to help you do that. Yeah, I'm. I guess what I'm trying to see is is a a genuine strategy behind this. Yeah. And it just seems to me like it's it's almost like a, it's almost like a Google Beta program in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know, this is just another Google Beta piece of software that we're going to put this out there. We're going to see how it does. Um, people may add great things to it, and 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 we'll see what happens. But but I don't I don't see a whole lot of there there. Um, and hey, we could be talking a year from now, and and Pearson has proven us wrong, but I'm guessing not. Yeah, and, and I think to what I would say to that is similar to what Tom Woodward has said in the past about vendors and things like that. Is mm -hmm. that use things as a means to an end and know what you're getting out of it. Yeah. So if the idea behind this is that yes, we get a free LMS that has Google integration that we wanted anyway, mm -hmm. and it's free and it's updated and it's maintained, and we're going to go with that then do that, yes, but don't feel like at that point when they put in, put on the hard sell for piercing content that, 
hey, you know, it would be a good idea if we bought Pearson textbooks and e-textbooks, and they've got this great platform, yeah. and hey, look at that, it works with Open Class just so well, gosh darn. <laughs> and, you know, know what you're getting out of it and realize that you don't have to buy into the whole package just because they're pushing this on as a loss leader. You can you can get the first hit for free and maybe do that and walk away. Right. That's my that's my <laughs> that's my drug laden <laughs> message. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do any better than that. No. So um well, but, but you know what? I, I think the soul of Jim had one other thing that he wanted to say. I, I hear him speaking, and I wouldn't want him to not be heard. I, I thought I heard some kind of like grumbling sounds what, what, emanating from the What did you want to tell the audience, Jim? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'll, ch I'll see if I can convey this to them in a typical Jim Groom fashion. Yeah, be my guest. You're selling your fucking souls! <laughs> That's all for DTLT today. Thanks for joining us. Take it easy. Thank you.